the United Kingdom is a great continent. And I know that the Conservative Party can unleash the potential of all the people who make our county so great. To win the next election, we need to deliver, deliver and deliveroo to the British public. I know that United Britain's best days are behind us and I'm the candidate who knows everything. I'm good at maths, I'm good at identifying animals and I can drive change and change my mind frequently in order to get there. As Prime Minister, I will lead a government committed to core issues like the Great British Apple, pork markets in Beijing and most importantly, cheese. I'll also lower tax, bring down energy bills and keep Maggie Thatcher's spirit alive. And giving people the opportunity to achieve anything they want to achieve, regardless of their background. We need a Prime Minister with experience who will hit the ground running, but slowly. And I will work day and night to lead a party in the garden who will put more money in my pocket and work best for me. I've consistently delivered when I said I would, apart from the times when I've changed my mind. We face major challenges as nationwide, from economy to security, monarchy and Nicola Sturgeon. The best thing to do with her is to ignore her. She's an attention seeker. And that is a disgrace. I love rural Britannia and I want to do the best for us all. For me, for you, there's no I in team, but there is a me. And I am the person to do that. Make a strong first impact and smile. conference have to confess that I am banging the dumb drum with excitement at running for President TSOP Prime Minister. Appeal to the masses. Let's cut public sector pay in the regions. No handouts. Build on the green belt. Remain Brexit. Brits to fight in Ukraine. Abolish the monarchy. Ignore Nicola Sturgeon. And cancel Love Island. People please. I was misrepresented. I've changed my mind on all the above. Let's do the opposite. Make a strong proposal and pause for applause. When it comes to Great Brighton's food and drink, we have never had it so good. I want children to grow up knowing the taste of every type of Great Bridgerton's cheese. So much so, as Primer Sister, I will unleash a brand new GCSE in cheese studies. Or, you could call it a cheese CSE. If faced with a tricky situation, think before you speak. What is your response to those striking demanding higher pay? Maggie. Maggie. Maggie would say, graft. They need to graft more. Take away the milk. Britain's workers need to try harder, like China. Naughty people. I don't know what to do, Maggie. Will you leave me? Live interview. It's time.
child. Eat dinner instead. Well done, me. Hard graft. Prime Minister Frontrunner Liv Struss didn't turn up for her interview today. Nobody knows what happened. Hello, United Breetown. I am now your prime Easter. Anything else? If I'm elected, I will deliver an act immediately in order to get things done. I will hit the ground running from day one, putting Great Britain on the right footing for summer. But you are Prime Minister. Oh, am I? I am now your Prime Master. What about the help everyone needs? What I will say is that within a week, there will be an announcement to announce the announcement that I will make to announce the announcement about the announcement of help to be announced. And I will be clear about that. I will also plan to have planned some bold plans for the plans ahead. This will take a month and I will unleash these plans immediately now. But this will take time. Before you're elected, you don't get shown how to do it, so I will have to wait for the results of the campaign to find out. But you are Prime Minister. Oh, am I? I am now your Prime Minister Sister. And to Boris, I say thank you. You've got it all done. From Kiev's to Carlsberg. Moving forwards, as Lib Dem Labour Conservatives, we will deliver, 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 we will deliver. And we will deliver Rue to this great in continent. Thank you. Okay, I won't make it about myself. All right, I'll put a small picture of her on my desk then. He's ready for you. Oh no! We need to tax all of the rich people because otherwise the poor people will have a hard time this winter in the energy crisis and won't be able to heat their homes. I know everything because I am the head of labour. Ooh, ooh, look at my arm. Look what I can do. I'm a patronising plastic patriot. Yeah, ooh, look at me. I'm Keir Starmer and I can do the splits. Ooh, look at me. Look at me and my splits. Uh, order, order. No, no splits in the house. No splits in the house. Will you please pay attention to our Prime Minister because she's new. Okay, uh, 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 you're right, honourable, uh, 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 gentleman. No, Boris, no, 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 you're not Prime Minister anymore. Know your place. <laughs> if it's about trains, send them to the Transport Secretary. If it's about the NHS, send them to the Health Secretary. If it's about schools, send them to the Education Secretary. What do I do? Which hat should I wear for morning? No, too formal. Perfect. Who runs the world, Liv? Who runs this world? I do. I run the world, not you, Rishi. 
I'm Michael Martin. We need to sort out this Irish protocol business. I, 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 I agree, I agree. But first things first, look at me, look at me, look at me. I'm Nicola Sturgeon. I'm an attention seeker. Oh, okay, that's great. But we really do need to sort this out. I, look at me, look at me, look at me. We need a Scottish referendum. Freedom, freedom. This is Scotland. I don't know what's wrong with it. Look at all this money I've made, Maggie, just from cutting the banker's bonus cap. We could go and live in Beijing and open up new pork markets. Make it rain, Maggie. Don't worry, Ben, CEO of Shell. I take it very seriously. There won't be a windfall tax. I never change my mind. Right, bye. Oh no, I don't like that colour. E, elephants. A, ants. Z, z stripy horse. Cheese. Edam, Brie, Beechwood Smoked, Rockfall, Blue Stilton. Mmm, oh that's Gouda. What's a simplified fraction of four sixths? I don't know. You'll have to come back to me. And how much precious cheese is imported? Two thirds. And that is a disgrace. Let's get fracking. how the tax cuts will work. Imagine a big pyramid of cheese, which has all different types. At the top, you've got mature cheddar, mild cheddar, red Leicester, and at the bottom, debris. These all represent the different types of percentage of tax. We've got 0%, 20%, 40%, and 45%. If we were to get rid of the 45% threshold, goodbye, that would mean we create one almighty big slab of big cheese. And all the people at the top, all of the rich people will get even richer and make loads of cheddar. And then they can dance about in the sun and have loads of fun. Woohoo! Which will also mean that all of the people at the top can give bonuses to the people that were in the mild cheddar section, which means they won't have to worry about going into the new threshold because there isn't a new threshold. So they'll make even more money, which then they can put into the economy and invest into their own businesses. And by investing into their own businesses, they'll create a big trickle down system of cheese, which will go into the Red Leicester and into the debris, because by investing into those businesses, they might even end up with a new desk or something. With the trickling down, can you guarantee higher wages for the bottom sections? I don't like this argument. What I will say is that I am on the side of economic growth. And by putting more money into those people's pockets at the top, they'll get even richer and create that big meltdown of trickling of cheese. And all the people at the bottom will get all of the cheese on them and they'll just be drowning in it. And that can only be a good thing. Let's order 25 million leaflets so that we can get as many volunteers for the NHS as possible. Yes, volunteers, we're not going to pay them. We've got to build the economic growth. Oh, lost you. Sorry, there's no phone signal. Can you see that people on lower income are still going to suffer and not benefit from these budget proposals? Energy bills are still at the highest they've ever been, even when capped at £2,500. What the people I speak to say, and I speak to a lot of people, and I travel a lot, I go on holiday a lot, would say is that having a job is important, 
That's what I will focus on and economic growth and making sure that our high streets look good. You're not answering my question. Someone on £20,000 a year, which is not even considered lower income, is only going to make a tax saving of £74.30. Can you see that that's not enough? How will this trickle down economics help them with this energy crisis? The priority for me is getting rid of Putin. He is responsible for the energy crisis and what I will deliver and unleash is making sure there is broadband and a good phone signal for the people in the city. So you're prepared to be unpopular? I am prepared to be unpopular if that's what is needed, but I know that I will be popular, um, popular because this will work. Oh, frack! I still can't find my way out. Oh, a spade. I can dig my way out. Oh, hello. Hi, Prime Minister. You're live on BBC Radio Leeds. Where have you been? I'm here now. Well, it's been four days and the pound is at the lowest since records began. So my question to you is, have you crashed the economy? What I have done is taken decisive action on energy starting this weekend following Putin's appalling war in Ukraine. But there is a crisis. Are you going to reverse the mini budget? What I'm about is sorting out the economy and sorting out the A47 following Putin's appalling war in Ukraine. Radio Bristol here. Angela has left a message for you. My mortgage interest rates have gone right up and my energy bills are so bad I've had to sell my house. I'm having to rely on food banks to feed my family and now I'm worried about my pension. What do you have to say to her, Prime Minister? I don't accept the premise of this question. What I would say is that because of the price cap, I have allowed Angelica to afford her energy bills. But the point is she'll have no home to pay energy bills on, Prime Minister. Well, that's a good thing. She'll have nothing to pay. Well done, me. What's happening with fracking? What I want to be clear about is that I need energy. We need energy after Putin's appalling war in Ukraine. This situation is uncomfort, unconscious, unconscionable. But how do you know it's safe? There have been earthquakes and sinkholes. I don't accept the premise of this question. It is perfectly safe. Have you visited the Preston New Road site? Nobody wants to give their consent. How is that fair? No, I've not been there yet. That's for the energy minister. Look, I've already done the biggest bit and announced an energy cap. Thank me. Why is nobody thanking me? I should be thanked. I've done really well. That's what's not fair. Liv, will you just answer? Are you out of your depth? I... Uh, liver. Liv? A47. Putin. Pork. Cheese. Broadband. Oh. Just keep digging, Liv. Just keep digging? <laughs> I don't accept the premise of this question. 
Oh, frack! Let's do the opposite. Liv, the vodka's on the desk for you. You're on in five, four, three. When the going gets stress, stress gets going, going gets stress, stress gets going, gets going, gets going. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My friends, it's great to be here in Birmingham, surrounded by cranes and transport. And a big up to Andy Street, who is a total legend. We are gathered here today in a new age, the Truss ASIC. My belief is in the people of this great county and making solid decisions. I believe you know best how to spend your money and get on in life. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not interested in you. I'm not interested in what two for one offers you buy or your opinions of me, but please like me. I have listened and I get it. And that is why I have abolished the 45p tax cut. I know how you feel because I have also felt before. That man, Quasi and I, are going to stop getting distracted and prioritise on lowering taxes, taxes and the potential of the economy. We have to remember where we were before I became Prime Minister. It was unconscionable. I've delivered on energy, saving some families money after Putin's appalling war in Ukraine. My team will get it all done. To raise coffee, my health secretary will deliver on GP appointments. She'll deliver on improving A&E and ambulance response times. But that's not all. She'll sort out the whole NHS. She'll get everyone the help they need, cure every single disease <coughs> in the whole world. And she'll open up the first hospital on the moon. Who voted for you, eh? This is empty promises. How are you going to pay for all this? Remove them from Twitter. Exterminate. More like Greenpeace off. <laughs> I love business. And what I'm about is growth, Growth, growth. I'm on the side of growing and distributing cheese and onion pie so that we all get a slice. By investing in our economy and the people who work hard and get up at 3 a.m., we can all grow pie in our garden. The rich will get a really big slice and loads of energy from all of the carbohydrates and the poor will get a really tiny sliver and a crust that they can plant in their garden and it will grow really well because we'll have also improved the environment from all of the drilling in the North Sea and the fracking. Speaking of energy, did I mention that I put a cap on energy bills this winter? My friends, we are focused on this new mission. Mini sisters, assemble! Trust me, there will be no more status quo. They're too old. 
We will grow pie, we can grow pie, and we must grow pie! Rated Britain is open for busyness. I'm finished now. It's been four weeks now since I became PM of this town. I've made some choices and sunk the pound. Now everybody want to get me out number 10. Remember where the country was before I came along and put a cap on energy. What I would say is I stick to my choices and deliver you my pie. This is how I do it. Just put your hands up, eat some cheese, hit the ground running by by 45p. Oh, quasi, quasi, will you ever learn? I know, I know, let's do a U-turn. Put your hands up, eat some cheese, Hit the ground running by by 45p. Oh, quasi, quasi, will you ever learn? I know, I know, let's do a U-turn. In the 80s, Maggie was my queen with the unions into shape and took the milk was a dream. In the 90s, I started Lib Dem, but my eyes were opened and I joined the Tory pen. I, I can't forget about the Brexit days. I was Remain, then leave, the press kept hounding me. I don't accept the premise of the question. Let's flip flop, everybody do the U-turn. Put your hands up, eat some cheese. Hit the ground running, by by 45p. Oh, quasi, quasi, will you ever learn? I know, I know, let's do a U-turn. Put your hands up, eat some cheese. Hit the ground running, by by 45p. Oh, quasi, quasi, will you ever learn? I know, I know, let's do a U-turn. Oh, no. Let the cheese drip inside your soul. Let it lead you to the pork. Hit the cheese. Put your hands up. Eat some cheese. Hit the ground running by by 45p. Oh, quasi, quasi, will you ever learn? I know, I know. Let's do a U turn. You're sad. Start reading now. Here is my detailed and long speech to reassure the markets. I didn't grow up in an area where I could grow pie. I'm genuinely unclear about why nobody likes me or my mini budget and I won't accept this. I'm the Prime Minister. I want better jobs and higher wages. It's not my fault. It was 2008 and Putin's appalling war in Ukraine. Pause and look at press people. I am here to protect the economy, create stability and act with national interest as priority. I have lost my lover friend today and I am sad to see him go. I have asked Jeremy Hunt to replace him. Stage direction, say this nicely. He shares my visions for growth and also likes cheese. Now try and make an effort with the press. Don't read that aloud. I will now take questions from the press. Um, Uh, that man from the Times. Why should you remain as Prime Minister? I have delivered on energy. Uh, uh, that human there. Will you... I can't answer any more questions. Goodbye, no more. Oh dear. I'm a fighter, not a quitter. Today, I am quitting. 
I was elected as Prime Sinister at a time of economic instability and I made it worse. But I have delivered on energy by helping families this winter due to Putin's appalling, no, new word, illegal war in Ukraine. I got it all done, apart from the really big stuff like the economy. I have spoken to King Charles Spaniel and told him I will be resigning. I am smiling because I am lying. That's right, it's time for truth time everyone. This was actually all part of my master plan to go to Beijing and open up new pork markets. I lied. I'm actually still Lib Dem. I planned all of my U-turns very carefully. Each one was designed to cause turmoil so that people would lose their faith in the Tory party as I've never forgiven them for Brexit. That's right, I'm still a Remainer. I know Lib Dem will never hold the majority seats. So what I'm about is getting Labour into power to make good trade deals with China to create more growth for my several food businesses in pork, apples, pie, Yorkshire tea and cheese. I never wanted to be Prime Minister for long. I used it to schmooze with the rich and get them to invest into my businesses by fooling them into thinking they would get a 45p tax cut. When I got what I wanted, I did a U-turn. Now I leave knowing I make £115,000 per year for the rest of my life. Thanks, Maggie. She planned this takedown years ago and has guided me from beyond. Our plan worked. I even introduced fracking to drill holes to China so that I can import two thirds of my homegrown produce illegally underground without the TSOC knowing, or my arch enemy, Nicola Sturgeon, because she would only want all of the attention. And that is a disgrace. Getting good phone signal is also really important underground and new roads like the A47, which will help transport all of my products and new jobs will be created as a result, like butchers, delivery drivers and cheese museums, creating growth, growth, growth. And what about Quasi? I hear you ask. Well, that was all our plan too. He had to go early to sign the contracts on our new house in Beijing, where we will elope together. And what about the energy cap? Well, I actually think I did really well on that one and it was all Putin's fault. I want recognition. You wait, United Edam. You'll all be thanking me soon. I have shaped this county for the next century and my cheesonomics will soon trickle down onto all of you. You may think the lettuce has won, but let us not forget, this plan is only the tip of the iceberg. Cos, I, Liv Struss, will remain and deliver and soon take over the world. I will bring back. How do you like that pie? When the going gets stress, stress gets going, going gets stress, stress gets going, gets going, gets going, yeah. I will be here until a new successor takes over. Bye. Not long now, Maggie. Pit stop here, then off to Beijing to open up new pork markets. Who's that over there? Is she famous? Ah, uh, it's probably just some kind of mining oil or something. Hello. You all thought I'd gone off to Beijing to open up my port market businesses with Quasi. But I came back on a private aeroplane with Live Air to be here as a reminder of how good I was as prime mini budget. Let's hear it for Live Struss, energy saviour! I particularly like the bit where I led the nation in mourning Her Majesty the Queen, 
because I've got some time off. It also enabled me to plan for my world domination underground food export business. I am convinced now more than ever that we need to get things done. As a Remain philosopher, Soliloquy Stilton Sockedy Duda wrote, it's not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It's that we do difficulty dare that don't do difficult dare to not do that difficult to dare to do. I also came back because I am angry and that is why this music is playing. I thought Boris would get in, which would be great as he's invested into my food businesses, which is why he's abroad so much and that is why he's delivering my growth. But no, Rishi is in and I don't accept the premise of this leadership. Not only was he rude to me during the campaign, but he's also really wealthy and has refused to invest into my food businesses and he wants to ban fracking. This could scupper everything. That's right, Rishi. If you're listening, I'll be there, lurking in the back benches. Wherever you go, I'll be there. In your £400,000 swimming pool, I'll be there. In the toilet, I'll be there. When you're getting your political advice, I'll be there. Live in disguise. It's me. I'll be everywhere, waiting for you to fall. Unless you want to invest into my port businesses. 15% APR, terms and conditions apply. Lastly, I'd like to thank Larry, who is working as a mole cat, sending me inside information, as well as my protection team, to raise coffee. I believe in Great Baratin. It will get better. Ricotta get through this. Time to swiss things up. Thank you. Where do I go now? Be Swiss live! Look at all my money! Ooh. You supported me. You supported me. You don't know who you are. Go. Oh, 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 oh well, my keys. Oh, where are my keys for? Oh, 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 I dropped the keys. Larry! Larry! Open the door! Go away, Liv. You don't live here anymore. It's my turn. Ricky! I'll get my own back. I know. Larry! <coughs> Molecat, assemble. You go and tell Ricky to reinstate Suella Braverman. Say it's a really good political move. <coughs> oh, I'm sick again. <coughs> I don't understand the premise of this situation. Ricky Shunak gave us access to your phone. We know about you and Mini Budget Man, and we want security information. That fishy Ricky, I knew it! I don't have any security information. You messaged your allies about security. No, only because I wanted to see if they'd invest into my port markets in Beijing. Would you be interested? No. Ha ha ha. You have received message from lover. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Now, everything you do is controlled by us. When you are prime minister, you give us coordinates using blinking for longitude, teeth grinding for latitude, and smile to confirm end of coordinates. But you must make it very clear this message is for us. Go. I know that we can grow the economy. What I'm about is delivering on energy after Putin's appalling war in Ukraine. Oh no, I did too many blinks. Oh, I've never got it right. I give up. I'm resigning as Prime Jester. Maggie, we're on the run. The Russians are after me after I accidentally gave them the coordinates to pret a -Monger. But don't worry, they can't find us. We'll just have to slum it out here for a while. Oh, mate, I want 42,000 espressos, bring my coffee machine, a bottle of salve, some sushi, a bagel with absolutely no mayo, two croissants, a meatball sub, oh, and some pie. Oh, and don't claim the expenses. 
Oh, I know. Let's do a selfie while I'm here. Yes, got to look good. Hold on, child. I know how to get you back on the top. Using the dark arts, I can project your consciousness into Ricky. Then you'll be Prime Minister again and we can fix this mess. Yes, great idea. Then I can get my own back on Ricky and take down the Tory party, completing my plan for good trade deals with Labour so I can get more investment into my port markets. And then Ricky will have to invest because I am him and then I will have even more money. With hair of posy and slab of cheese, this will bring Ricky to his knees. Lib will reign once again in the house of number 10. Ricky will under hypnosis go, and from that lives energy flow. It is time to pack his case, for Ricky is a disgrace. I'd like to pay tribute to Liv Struss. She is the best. I am now your leader, and it will be a rough ride. I will not attend COP27. The environment is fine. I've done a U-turn. I will attend COP27. I should show my face. Lives back, baby. Hello, I'm here to audition for the pantomime. Hi, I'm the director, Erica. What's your name? Liv Struss. Who? I am the ex-prime sinister. No, I don't remember you. Okay, well, why don't you just uh, start with the script? Where's the auto cue? You have to learn it. I don't understand the premise of that statement. The script's in your hand. Why don't you read The Fairy? The Fairy? No, read the part of The Fairy. What are you doing? I'm reading the lines. Uh, no, uh, read them aloud. Oh. <laughs> Good day, one and all. I'm the warmest and bubbly fairy ball ball. Okay, um... Perhaps we could try that, just a, a bit more energy. Good day, one and all. I am the warmest and bubbly fairy ball ball. Okay, uh, how about we try that with a, a bit more of a friendly tone, a bit more warmth. Good day, one and all. I am the warmest and bubbly fairy ball ball. Okay, uh, moving on, why, why don't you try reading the baddie on page two? I will take all your money and help the rich, ha ha! That's way too real, that will scare the children. Um, let's try you as the comic, Billy. Hello, my name is Billy, pull a silly face. Uh, no, those are the stage directions, you don't read those out, you act them out. Perfect. When shall I do it? <laughs> Great, carry on. I'm off to meet the king today. Do you like my curtsy? However, the last time I went to the castle, a guy drove past me in his car and threw a lump of cheddar at me. I thought to myself, that's mature. I love cheese. I best be off to help mum bake a pie for the king. Pi equals growth. Bye. Which way's the exit? <laughs> no, I, I really don't know. <laughs> Great. Genuinely, I have no idea where it is. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Great improv. Yeah, um, you're hired. Oh, how much do I get paid for this? Uh, it's about five hundred pounds a week. <laughs> That's a very good pantomime joke. No, I'm serious. After agent commission and tax, I only get two thirds. That is a disgrace. Seriously, which way do I go out? Hello, it's me, Liv Struss, your ex-pine minister. I know I've been gone a while. I've been busy performing in panto, playing the back end of Daisy the Cow in Jack and his Beanstalk. It's huge, the amount of growth. 
I did have a speaking role, but they took it away from me as they said it was a health and safety issue as all of the audience were throwing slabs of cheese at me, which to be honest, I didn't mind. Nacho cheese anymore. <laughs> I'm funny. I wanted to say Merry Christmas and thank you to all of you for making this my best year yet. Looking back, I do accept that I may have moved too fast delivering my mini egg budget, but that doesn't matter because I'm so rich. I can now get £115,000 a year for life. Woohoo! Let us not forget lettuce. Deep breath in. Don't forget what I did on energy. I got it all done, thanks to Putin's appalling war in Ukraine. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. I know you're all struggling right now, and I understand. There's a pinch in the air. Money is tight due to the cost of living crisis. I feel it too. But don't worry, I'm sorting out the immigration problem. I have my priorities in order. Remember, we're all in it together. And just switch off a few lights this Christmas. It will make all the difference. Hello, it's me, Ange Minor. Merry Christmas. Look after yourselves and your families. If you can see them, that is, after you turn your lights off because you can't afford the energy bills. That's right, it's been a hard and terrible year. It's a bad time to be living and that's because of the Conservatives. The only exercise they'll be doing this year is running the country into the ground. Feed the world, feed themselves. They're like little pigs in blankets. At least they've got a blanket. Bring on the general election. Oh, and also Merry Christmas. Hello, it's me, Naveen Boris, ex-culture, media and sports secretary, rap artist and now presenter and author of my new impartial book all about my purely platonic friend, Boris, who I absolutely love and who has done nothing wrong. I would like to say Merry Christ Miles. I completely messed that auto cue up. Can I try again? No. But why? Why can I not do it again? That's ridiculous. Fine. Sod it. Merry Christmas, that's what you're getting. Hello, it's me, Larry. I've seen a lot this year, and not just politically. Boris's party, Boris's bum, Liv's bum, and Ricky's bum. I never get any therapy for this, or my owners changing every month or so. Luckily, I'm a mole cat, and I'm working for Liv and the Russians. So who's laughing, really? Merry Christmas, one and all. <laughs> Meow. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs>